welcome back to Jenna's Kitchen. I have been seeing this trend all over the internet where you take some instant coffee, sugar, and water and whip it to make like this velvety cloud of coffee. So I figured I would show you guys my favorite way to make this whipped coffee. Let's get started. All right, so this is super simple. We just have two tablespoons of instant coffee, two tablespoons of sugar, and two tablespoons of hot water. You don't have to use two tablespoons of each thing. You just have to make sure you use equal parts of everything. So if you use half a cup of sugar, you have to use half a cup of instant coffee and half a cup of water. Take our mixer and you can whip this by hand, but I just think it's much easier to use an electric mixer. All right, this is looking good. It's nice and creamy and thick and this is perfect. Now we're going to put it in a mason jar with some milk. We have our coffee all whipped up, ready to go. We have some milk and a little bit of creamer to give it some extra sweetness. I like to add the creamer. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I think it tastes really good. When the first time I made this, I was like, oh my gosh, why did everybody like this? But then I'm like, I have to try this again. I have to get this right to where it tastes good. And I finally made it. I tried it with honey. I tried cooling the coffee overnight. Those didn't work. You have to use the sugar, instant coffee, and hot water. You just have to do it. Pour in the milk. A little space for the coffee. We have our whipped coffee. We're going to use a spatula, scrape it into our mason jar. So we got a little too full, but we'll just put this in another cup. It's fine. Take a straw. And there you have it, some whipped coffee. Now you can put some cinnamon or some kind of spices in it before you whip it, but this is how I like to drink it. Or if you want to, you could even put some caramel syrup in the jar before you put your milk in or on top. All right, here is the whipped coffee that we made today. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I've been seeing this all over the internet and I think it tastes pretty good, but I definitely recommend if you like your coffee a little bit sweeter, you want to add the creamer because that's gonna give it some more sweetness than the coffee itself has. And the way I like to drink it is I like to mix it up, but some people say that you're not supposed to do that. I think it tastes better that way. You do whatever you like. Also, I've seen it on the internet where they use almond milk and soy milk. I just use normal cow's milk, but if you wanna do that, you do you. You do it your way. If you like this video, please like it and comment. If you have seen this before or you tried it before, tell me how you like it in the comments down below. Subscribe to Jenna's Kitchen and have a great day.